So this radio, what a pain, my goodness. Um, so this front plate right here for the digital screen, it popped on. These L brackets I had to install with the four screws. I pushed it all the way forward uh, on both sides. And then you've got your control. Get to plug in, and then there's a nut on the back side, front side. Um, you had to play with it, push it through the, the back, um, and then just kind of judge, okay, hey, I need to adjust these screws uh, or the knobs in and out to get them exactly where you want them. It's, it's a pain in the butt, but just be patient with it. So, you know, ultimately I love this radio, but what a freaking pain in the butt. Um, so this is a little spacer that came with it. I've got a bunch of other parts in here that I'm not using. Um, but once you get the, the plate over top of it, which I had to have someone help me <laughs> hold the back end while I push it forward. Um, and you just put whatever. <sighs> There's no instruction for this thing, so good times. Um, well, okay, scratch that. So there's instructions on the website of the retro manufacturing, uh, the people that made it. Not, you know, I bought it from Jags or whatever. But they have some instructions. But this platform is, is designed to go on a lot of different cars. You know, they'll have different faces for uh, different cars out there. But So it gives some instruction, but it's not very clear on what the heck, you know, to do where. And the one that I found doesn't really go much further than just the, the faceplate and stuff. Um, I'll put a link in the description on, on those instructions. Uh, very limited instructions. But yeah, so it's in. You know, it, this is how I'm going to have it. I got the spacer back there. Uh, I think it looks really good. And then I'll show you the back end, what I had to do. There's a strap that mine did not come with, but the instructions say that it should come with one. But I bought uh, from AutoZone just a, a strap from there. All right, so a little bit of, uh, you know, a lot of wires back here and stuff. But so this is a strap that I was talking about. It was supposed to come with it, but I didn't have one. I bought it from AutoZone. Basically, it's kind of holding the back end of that. If you don't have that, it's going to end up cracking your front uh, plate because it wasn't designed to hold all the weight. You'll keep it, you know, exactly where you need it. Um, then you got a lot of all this other stuff that I don't have hooked up yet. I'm going to hook it up a little bit later once I get a, you know, a bigger speaker in the back with an amp and some other uh, smaller speakers. You got a USB plug that you can use. Um, there's also a uh, auxiliary cord, a external mic you could hook up, which I'm not sure exactly how the heck I would route it to where it would work. But that way, if you want to talk Bluetooth on your phone, and then the antenna that I need to still hook up, I need to buy a cable to run it to the original antenna from here. And then you just have the, uh, essentially the Canna plug that has the speaker wires coming out of it. I've only got the one speaker hooked up right there in the back. I'll send a link to that as well. It's, uh, it has a, a modified adapter to hook up exactly where the original speaker went to. Um, but the important part, really, I think to me, the biggest part, um, is making sure you have a good ground. So this is where I hooked the ground up to. And then the yellow is your constant power. And this on the 63, this is a 63, uh, beetle is the bottom left, right? And then your red is for the ignition switch for this guy. It's on the far right, uh, bottom right. So if you got any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll try to answer any of them. Obviously, there's different uh, setups for different years for the Beetle and so on and so forth. But um, I'll send a link, like I said, to the, the speaker. I love that speaker. It sounds really good for just one speaker. I'm going to hook up more. But right now, it's awesome just to have a radio because I didn't even have a radio in this sucker. But uh, yeah, if you got any questions, please comment, like the video, and subscribe. Thanks.